Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to make this very basic and simple analog clock in HitFilm Express. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a composite shot and that composite shot can be any length that you would like it to be and I am just going to make it one hour, one hour long so that it's pretty self-evident that it is uh, a clock that can go on. I can make it however many hours I want it to be, but in this case, we're just going to make it one hour long. I'm going to add a new plane, uh, and then I'm going to take that new plane, and I am just going to open up the transform properties. Under scale, I'm going to unclick the um, link, and I'm going to make the X scale 1%, and the Y scale may be 45 or maybe even 40%, okay? Uh, then I will just slide the anchor position so that the middle of it or is or the edge of it is now in the middle, negative 530, okay? And that will be the second hand. So I'm just going to use my F2 key and say second hand. And then I can duplicate that. And the next one will be the um minute hand and then i will duplicate it one more time and the third one will be the hour hand all right and the hour hand of course is going to be shorter so if i open up the transform maybe i'll make that 20 instead of uh 40 percent right okay now i just have to have the move right well if you think about it in an hour's time frame if i open up the second hand I can get it to rotate, okay? How many times does the second hand go fully around 100 times, 100 degree or 360 degrees in an hour? Well, it goes 60 times. So if I keep frame the rotation, I go to the end of the time frame by hitting my end key and I just type in 60x. That means that that second hand is now rotating 60 times in an hour, okay? So there is that. Now, how many times does the minute hand go around during that time? Well, only once, right? So 60 minutes is an hour. So we keep frame the rotation. I go to the end and I just change that to a one. And so now over that time, you can see that that is, you know, the second hand is moving and the minute hand is moving also, but much slower. Now, how far does an hour hand go? Well, an hour hand goes one twelfth, uh, which would be, in this case, since I only have an hours of time frame, it's about 30 degrees. So I'm going to go to the end and just type in 30 degrees. So now there's one hour, okay? Uh, and now it's one o'clock, right, after an hour. So if I play this, now you can see uh, that the second hand is moving. And if I go a little bit into it, now you can see that it's about 12.10 or so, and, you know, it is it is just moving along nicely. All right, let's talk about creating the background of the clock. I will bring in my plane again, uh, but this time I will go ahead and color it. So I'll use a fill color, maybe uh, white, right? Okay, and then uh, what I want to do is use a polar warp effect and just make it into a big circle. Okay, well, it looks great to me. I think we'll just leave it like that. Now, if I duplicated that plane and that one, uh, I went to the effects, the fill color, and I changed that to, say, the color red. And then under the polar warp effect, on the start radius or the inside radius, I just push that out. And I can sort of create a little, you know, bevel around, right? Um, and then if I did a one more duplication, uh, and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the fill color. So it's still black. Okay. Um, however, I want it to be, uh, what I think I'll do is add a grid effect. All right. And that grid effect, I want those to be black the grid themselves right uh, but what I want to do is I want to put the grid above the polar warp so that way the polar warp affects the grid okay 
Uh, now, the polar warp itself, uh, I'm going to pull back a bit so that there's a little bit of those, those lines there. Uh, and then, and if I pull it way back, you can see what I have there is a bunch of those. And I can actually get rid of those by shifting the grid points out, basically. Okay, we just kind of get rid of it. All right, now I can uh, push that grid back a little bit. Maybe to about like there. Now I just need to line these up, and the way I would do that uh, is by adjusting the range of this. All right, so negative 15, 193 is what I've come up with, and that feels pretty good. And I get to about the halfway mark, and there we are. Yep, looks pretty good to me. So here is my clock, right? Basic, quick, and easy. You could throw that into a, uh, uh, you know, into a background, and, and it would work very well. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.